Hey guys, it's Ev, and welcome to my 18th video. Welcome to my 18th video. So today's video is another midweek motivation where I am going to be talking about the book that I wrote because I want to motivate you guys to express yourselves in any way that you can. If you like to write, if you like to paint, if you like to act, if you like to sing, if you like to do anything, just you gotta make sure that you keep staying creative no matter how busy life gets, no matter what you do with your life because being creative and expressing yourself is super important. So if you're new to my channel, I'm Ev. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> and this is my channel, Everything Life, where I make videos about everything because I have so many interests and I just like a lot of stuff and I like to talk to myself in my room, so yeah. You should um, totally give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because that would be really cool. So yeah. So I wrote a book. Actually, I wrote two books, but um, one of them is just some Wattpad, which I'll have the link down below and you can check that out. But then I also wrote an actual book that I self-published. And I actually haven't ordered a copy for myself yet, which I know is completely lame. But I will um, definitely show you what it looks like when I do get it. And I'll insert a picture of what it looks like here somewhere. Anyway, I wrote a book, and it's called Witch Hazel. And it's the beginning or the first book in a series that I'm starting called the Historical Society Collection. Uh... And it's a book about the Salem Witch Trials and this high school girl that gets sucked back in time and learns about her cousin who was kind of caught up in the Witch Trials in Salem. So the series is going to be based around this one character named Maureen German and she is a historian at a historical society and she's going to be just traveling around a whole bunch of different historical a whole bunch of different historical societies so in each book she'll be at a different historical society and she'll send a different kid back in time to a different area different time zone time zone different time period all that kind of stuff so i'll let you know more about the second book that i'm currently writing hint it's about plymouth new hampshire um but let's talk about the one that i actually published so witch hazel is about a girl named melissa mcdonald and she is on a swim team and she goes to a swim meet with her friend and her team and her friend gets hurt while she's swimming and she ends up having to go to the hospital As melissa feels like super bad about it her and her mom stay in a hotel nearby the hospital so that she can hang out with her friend and make sure that she's okay and is recovering well And while she is staying in that hotel, she decides that she's going to kind of walk around the area that she's in. I'm, I kind of like made up a little like city type thing. I don't know, but the rest of it's kind of based in real places. But so she's walking around and she finds the historical society and she's a, his, she's a history junkie. And so she decides to go in and check out stuff and try to learn more about her family because she knows that she's going to have to do a project about her family when she gets back to school in the fall. So she goes in and she meets Maureen and she's talking to her about stuff and they start researching and she finds all these articles about a girl named Hazel McDonald and she was like her great 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 cousin like way back and all of a sudden the records about her just stop. There's no death record just after she turns 14, nothing. And she's really confused. Melissa's like, what the heck? And she really wants to know what happens but she doesn't know how to find out. So one day she walks out of the historical society carrying one of the documents and it sucks her back in time. Like she gets like sucked into the document and she goes back in time. And she meets her family in 17th century Salem and she figures out what happened to Hazel and all the stuff that are revolved around her family in the 17th century. And then she eventually gets back home. But I won't spoil the rest for you because you gotta read it. So if you would like to read it, it's available on Amazon and you can go down below to the link to my website. And then if you go to my website and you click on the books tab, 
you can find all of my books. Nope. So you should definitely check it out. And it would be super awesome if you guys would rate it and comment on it on Amazon so that more people can hear about it because that would be super awesome. So I just want to motivate you guys to follow your dreams. I have been working on this book for over two years and I actually sent it into literary agents and I only got one response. Only one person actually took me seriously. So I decided I was going to self-publish it and I did it and it was really awesome. And I'd also really like to thank my grandmother because she helped me so much. She um, works at a historical society and she was a librarian for many, many, many years. So she helped me with all the editing and fact checking and all of that awesome stuff. So be grateful for all the wonderful people you have in your life and just keep being you, keep being creative and never give up on your dreams. And just because you're young or maybe you're really old or maybe because you're a girl, don't let anyone tell you that you can't do anything because of something like that. You can do anything you want, no matter what. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in my next video. <clears throat> I'll see you next week. Bye. Weekly a dose of Alfred the Moose. Oh, thumbs up. <laughs>